Hey YouTube, Blade Brothers here. Um, pretty excited to give you another uh, unboxing video. This one is the Spartan Blades. It's a new product. The uh, Ronin Shoto. Um, so it's a collaboration between uh, with Spartan Blades and um, Ronin Tactics, uh, Tulam. So who helped with the design of it. Pretty simplistic, just a box uh, and the knife itself. So let me zoom in here. It's a uh, pretty sizable. And then it, there's a logo for Spartan Blades and Ronin Tactics. It also has a uh, Tulam. Ronin actually likes to use the uh, Oon, uh, Oda Nobunaga Kamon here. So he has that design right here. And it's uh, the blade is with CTS XHP uh, stainless steel. So it's a high grade stainless steel with um, good edge retention and it has the uh, Emerson wave feature here so you can open it uh, with the um, quick draw from the pocket um, retention ring so uh, Tulam actually is uh, a practitioner of uh, Silat and Kali so um, he prefers to have the knife design with the retention ring and I like the curvature of the handle. So when you're actually holding it, um, your natural first point of contact is actually at this point where the uh, tanto tip is. So it, it functions um, better as a sort of karambit style knife because if you were to do a slash cut, this point naturally is where the first point of contact would be um, so it's a very good design i like the um, general heft of this so g10 handles and some pretty s significant um liners here it's a liner lock very solid um Jimping here actually helps with if you're holding it in a forward grip. So this is actually comparable to a, another knife I had previously um, did a video for. This is the Dart XT from um, Fox Knives. It's a design with uh, Doug Marqueda. But you can see it's a tanto tip, also with a uh, karambit style retention ring. But um, let me zoom out here. It is uh, notably larger in terms of uh, just the size. So the Dart XT is actually about 3.8 ounces. By comparison, the um, Ronin Shoto is 6.25 ounces, so notably heavier, probably because of, like, you can see here the difference. In, let me zoom in. You can see uh, the difference in thickness of the just the liner itself, that heft, and then the overall thickness. You can see there, and then, of course, the blade thickness. There's a lot more uh, steel when it comes to the Ronin Shoto. Both of which have Emerson wave features, so quick deployment through um, when you pull it out of your pocket, snags the hem, the retention ring design. This one's basically off of the actual um, frame, and then um, it's a solid ring. This one is uh, integrated with the actual handle scales and I really like that it has the uh, filled ring here. Um, if you remember uh, in what my other video, I've actually showcased um, the Emerson Super Crambit. 
So this is actually what I would consider comparable to the Shoto Ronin here as a sort of combat style folder. Um, so overall size and whatnot. So weight, um, the Ronin Shoto is still actually heavier. 6.25 ounces, probably because of the liners and everything. Um, while the Emerson has relatively thick liners as well, but this is, um, they use titanium liner, so the overall weight is lighter. Um, all G10 handles in terms of handle scales. Um, but you can see it's one thing I commented on was, um, yeah, the retention ring area is not filled in. So it's just a little different when you actually have it in a karambit grip for me. Um, so I really like the design that this is filled in. So it actually, um, when you're actually twirling and holding it in a different grip, um, it feels more natural to me at least. Um, while the sort of unfilled retention ring of the uh, Emerson helps with the um, feel of uh, orienting the blade because you, you rest your your thumb right here, it actually gives you a pretty good direction of where your blade is aligned. But um, overall, uh, the feel of it, I prefer a filled in ring. So something like this even feels more natural to me than the Emerson. All great knives though. But um, uh, one of the comments about, of course, this, this Karambit style knives is the fact that you know, in a situation with a normal karambit, you can't do a sort of stabbing motion here. But with a knife that's like this design, yeah, you can definitely stab. And with the uh, notable Tonto tip here, it's got a lot of heft. So, yeah, you won't have any problem in terms of uh, puncturing uh, and penetration. There's quite a bit of tip excellent blade and it's in a sort of a black nitride finish which is my general preference for any type of tactical blade to not just have it um, mirror polished or anything so uh, general I prefer like stone wash but this is a very nice because it has a Nice, uh, it's anti-reflective. Yeah, it's got a good feel to it. And the G, G, G10 scales are very grippy. And then of course there's a nice pocket clip here, which you can actually reverse it if you choose to. So, yeah, this is a really good in terms of combat uh, folder, I think this is actually one of the best uh, combat folders I've seen to date. Um, and the benefit is, of course, you can use, you know, your C-Lot uh, or Kali style techniques with it. Um, so, very nice. All right. Uh, let's wrap up with a quick cutting test, shall we? So, just got this out of the box. We don't have much of a blade length. So, blade length is actually less than 3 inches, I believe. Let me just double check here. 2.5. So, it's actually the same length as the Fox in terms of blade length. But, of course, a uh, lot more heft to it. And um, so, in terms of a drag cut, won't be... Um, but, yeah, it is sharp. I really like the design of this knife. It feels great in the hand. And um, 
like I don't have I generally don't like to have my finger my pinky finger in the retention ring so for forward grip I prefer to have it out like this but it doesn't feel uncomfortable because um, you're with the groove here your hand just kind of naturally centers it and with the jimping it really gives you a solid grip so you can do some I mean if you're using it as a utility blade um, it shouldn't be a problem um, and then of course as a combat blade for um, any type of stabbing motion yet you can always easily do a reverse grip and use more of your karambit style moves it can still naturally uh, slash because of the alignment like I mentioned earlier so this becomes your cutting point when you're doing a slash so really good and it feels great in the hand it's just you know substantial in the hand um, the only real advantage I see with the dart is probably uh, as a carry this is notably lighter so much more easy to conceal um, and just carry for a prolonged period of time um, yeah but both great knives and um, they're similar in terms of designs um, but I, I really like the Shoto for just the overall utility of it, I think. And then um, the handle section is notably larger. So the knife, it, the blade itself is only two and a half inches, but the um, overall blade is about seven inches close to eight inches so there's like five inches worth of handle so if you see even in its closed state there's a notable amount of handle here so using as sort of a non-lethal action uh, or option definitely as a great impact weapon and you have enough handle here for like locks and use it sort of um use it uh Pretty much like the same techniques you could use with a kubaton. So pressure points, locks, there's enough handle here extended, at least for my hand, to do a lot of those actions. You know, by comparison with the dart. See when I close my hand, there's still a little bit, but it's not angled like the Shoto here, so you can't really do much of a locking action here in like a wrist lock. Um, you can definitely still do, uh, you know, a brass knuckle type of impact, but the overall use of this side is limited to pretty much the glass breaker as a pressure tool. But um, this, in a sort of defense situation, you can see how much. I still have here so I can actually do wrist locks so yeah this is an excellent design and just as an aesthetic I think it, it's nice to see the like black G10 with the um, polished steel liners and then of course the red so it has a good overall aesthetic and um, the practical utilization of this is wonderful. So, all right. Uh, I think that's all I have to share about the the Spartan Blade Ronin Shoto. As always, um, please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe to our channel, and um, hope to see you soon. Blade Brothers, signing off.